So you're at the gig and your computer goes down. All you have is the iPad Pro and the Apogee Jam. Can you make it work? Let's find out. What's up, guys? Shay Sean Finn, I'm McPherson back in the building, and I want to wish you a happy new year. Congratulations, you made it to 2021. And you can pat yourself on the back. So, hopefully in 2021, we'll get back to performing out in little venues and clubs, weddings. I was fortunate to be able to do a couple of gigs in 2020, but uh, the amount of gigs definitely was cut off. <laughs> so, uh, I was sitting here at the end of 2020, I got an iPad Pro, 11 inch, and it's a very powerful machine. I'm a Serato user, but on the iPad, I started messing with DJ Pro AI, uh, which is a system that's laid out for Mac, and especially on the iPads and iPhones. And I said to myself, Maybe, you know, what would happen if I only had my iPad and jam and my instrument? Because I also play my instrument a lot when I DJ. Uh, I was wondering, can I swing a gig with just an iPad Pro, an Apogee Jam Plus, and that was it? And I have a solution here, and it works because the iPad Pro is so powerful, it can run two uh, applications at the same time. And let me show you a little bit of that. So here you see I have my iPad Pro and I have two applications running. That's GarageBand on top and this is DJ Pro on the bottom. This is my Apogee Jam and this is it. I have this running out into my uh, mixer over here which you can run into the house or you can run into a speaker. And this Mogami chord is plugged into my violin down here on the floor. So I said, man, can I, you know, swing a gig? Can I mix? Can I, you know, get my instrumentals? What if I don't have my hard drive? What if I only had this iPad? Could I make it happen? So the first thing you would have to do is you need to go into GarageBand. And GarageBand has some settings some advanced settings down here and they have multi-track recording 24-bit audio resolution but the real important thing is to switch to let GarageBand run in the background while you're running other apps and that is key to this solution so I have all that running I have my volume turned out I have my monitor turned on and what's really cool about this, Apogee is a great sound card. They have legendary sound. And I can send both my violin and the program through it. So if we go into DJ Pro here, I have it set up. And I have one of my songs, Missing You, about to play. And you're going to hear it with lyrics. There's lyrics in it because I rap and I play violin. Uh on a lot of my songs or sometimes I'll sing, you know, I do all kind of crazy creative stuff. But what's so dope about DJ Pro AI is it has this thing called Neural Mix. And Neural Mix allows you to take the lyrics out, almost essentially not needing instrumentals anymore, which is kind of crazy. You can still kind of hear it in the background, almost like a gate or like, Maybe a gay is the wrong word, but more like a, you know, you can hear it. It's like the lyrics are in the next room very, very low. But if you're playing loud and then you're playing your instrument over it, you won't even hear the lyrics. And you can do some really cool mixes with that neural mix. So let me show you an example. So it's just like Serato. You know, you can make cue points. So I have a cue point for the beginning of the track right here. And it's got a little fader here where I can go off and come back on. So I can essentially mix, even though I don't have everything I need, like a deck. So 
So I got the music playing. I just turned that down a little bit so you can still hear me talk. So if I go to Neural Mix over here, I'm going to start it from the top again. Three and... So there's a lot of cool things here with the Neural Mix. Watch what I do. I'm going to pull the lyrics out in front of you guys. Just have the drums. Can just bring the oops. But see, that's this is the thing right here. Not having an actual controller. You can use a controller, but I was just trying to make it work with just the jam and this. But if you add like an anchor uh, USB C dongle, you can try to mix and send it through. Some other cool stuff you can do. I move the slider over. I'm gonna play another song called Seventh House that I have. Where I'm playing, right? But what's cool about it? is you can hear my violin right and you know you can get in here and mix at the same time I'm, you know, just pizzicato right now because I'm not pulling out the bow. But the fact that you can hear this both and it both has the Apogee sound quality, that's amazing. And technically, I could just do a gig like this. We'll just get into the, you know, different songs we could play. Um, and actually just mix down, you know, go down your whole set list. And if you do plug in an anchor... Uh, turn that off. If you do plug in an anchor, you can have uh, external drive plugged in. You can have a you know a small deck if you want it to be your setup. You know for the ceremony of a wedding, and then have your main setup uh, inside for the you know the dinner and the celebration, or you know you want to go on the beach pool party I really think this is a cool solution uh, if you want it to be your main thing in like a quick gig or your backup uh, the sound quality will still be great and if you're a musician and DJ you're able to still you know all of that's going through this little jam um, very 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 exciting stuff with the iPad Pro, Apogee Jam, and if you want to uh, break out and go into bigger setups, you know, you may want to power it, you know, because if your gig is longer than an hour, the, all this is pulling on the power of the iPad Pro. Uh, you might need a dongle where you can plug in, you know, a PD to USB-C uh, to get power to your computer, to get external music to the computer. And if you have a mixer, it opens up the options more as well. Uh, maybe, you know, if you had a mixer, you wouldn't have to do all this. You could just plug this into the, the, the instrument, into the mixer. But I think this is very cool where you need space or if you need uh, a backup and you need the sound. I've done gigs where I've sent everything through a jam into a huge house system and it, it sounded amazing. I did a boat party like that. Uh, I believe it was with the Apogee One, 
and the sound was just wow. People were like, what is that? What is that you're using? So, you know, Apogee, iPad Pro, and, you know, maybe an Anchor uh, or any type of USB-C dongle that you trust, uh, and you can really get the party going. I've done many gigs similar with my, you know, using my MacBook. But now this, you know, this iPad Pro is really taking over for that. So if you want to get this started, the app, I just wanted to show you their page. Let me go over to it now. This is the DJ Pro AI. It's $4.99 a month. Um, I think you get a discount if you do a yearly subscription, but monthly is $4.99 a month. Um, and once again, I, you know, I'm a Serato user my whole entire DJ career. But this DJ Pro AI is very exciting. Um, I'm sure Serato will have some answers to the neural mix and some updates, but boy. And I, I heard that the new M1 Max uh, work really well with DJ Pro AI. So it's going to be a lot of competition, and that's good for us as the consumer. Uh, you know, this is Anchor site, some USB-C uh, dongles. That would be great to use, you know, and they range in price. I see one here for $27.99. Um, as long as it has some power going to it and, you know, a lot of people also want to be able to read uh, uh, the memory cards from their cameras. So it has that as well. Uh, and then this is the Apogee Jam. $160. Apogee has some other products that have gone uh, USB-C. Let me see if I could find one. Oh. This is the one that I used to use. If it ever shows. Yeah, that's the one. And then... What's the product? I was at uh, NAM last year before the pandemic and Apogee has a new is it the ensemble this is it so this is the symphony desktop I believe this will work as well uh with the um, iPad or the Mac Pro. In concluding, I think it's an exciting time for DJs, the technology. Um, I can't wait till things open up and we can have the pandemic behind us and go to things like NAM and uh, perform with all this new equipment that's coming out. That being said, things haven't stopped. You can use all this equipment on Zoom. You can use it on you know any platform when you're uh, Twitch, when you're out there. So don't stop. Keep trying to find that new technology if that's what excites you. And there's a lot of solutions out here for us as mobile DJs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys, and let's get off to a great year in 2021. I'm fear none. Peace.